play them. No, no. You never wanna pick up. You never wanna do the things that are inconvenient. Hello. Yo. Sushi squad. The dirty is calm. I'm so what's excited. What's good? What's good? I'm so excited. Okay. Uh, explain. Um, because this is gonna be my first time reading a manga and then like actually seeing it come to life as an anime. So, context y'all. Please, um, share. I think it was like beginning of this year or was it like last year? No, it wasn't. It definitely wasn't last year. Like the end of last year? No, No, nope, beginning not. of yeah. this year? Yeah, um, I mean, yeah. So like Ron and I, we went to Barnes and Noble <coughs> and we wanted to start an anime or a manga. Um, and we literally spent like an hour just like looking through each, like each series and reading synopsis and then deciding on what we wanted to read. What did you choose? Was I it chose... Berserk? No, no, they it... didn't have Berserk. It was, um, I have it over there. It wasn't Berserk and it's it like wasn't Vagabond. It was like... It was one in the same category as that. It was like... But it's about a samurai. The Eternal Blade or Eternal... I think something like that. Eternal Blade or Eternal Sword or something. Yeah. I didn't and... read it, obviously, or else I would remember. I, I ended up getting berserk yeah like shortly after but anyways but i chose out of all the series like Friaren. and so i had no idea that they came out with an anime it wasn't until yuma uh well actually no it wasn't until i looked at the crunchyroll page yeah randomly one day and was like what the fuck? like there's an anime on this and yuma even told like uh ron about the series coming out and that we should watch it but it's just so crazy because i remember like talking about it on our stream one day like oh my god y'all like i freaking love free Aaron. like i'm so obsessed with it i read all the manga in like one day and i like, i pre-ordered it like three times like she, the last three books and yeah I just, like, she was like i'll read it like on the plane gig yeah she was <laughs> she was like loving it like she was 100 a school girl <laughs> um Reading this and the uh, there was only two mangas, right? That I feel like you read this one and then that that weird like <laughs> schoolgirl like no, it's not schoolgirl. It was a little library. What was it? It was about hentai. Um, it's called Sweat and Soap or uh, Soap and Sweat. Yeah, Sweat and Soap. It was just a little guilty pleasure read. Like I just want a little excitement. You know yeah, I mean? capital P on the pleasure. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, and she loved this and. And it just kind of came full circle because, <clears throat> yeah, then one of our uh, community members, Mods, and uh, reached out and was like, oh, this new anime is dropping. And I kid you not, I didn't even, I had this conversation, I didn't even bring it up to Michelle because I was like, we're kind of busy, our schedule's full, I don't think we're going to have time to add a whole yeah. new anime that we had never even, I, I had never even heard of because I didn't even oh you didn't know that that was i the didn't same know series it was the I same read? series that you read and then oh it, and then God. she found it and then i was like oh wait this is and then she was like okay then we let's watch it and yeah we i was like, like right, i don't care do i'm making time for this like yeah. i love this uh this book because it's just like it literally feels like it's lord of the rings but more focused on not the fights but the character stories and it's just so visually beautiful. Like I remember every single page, like there's like just panels, like not a lot of dialogue, right? And just panels of just beautiful scenes. And it's such like a comfy, cozy read. So I'm really curious to see like how it, it gets animated. You know, like what colors do they use? Yeah. What are the VAs like? Because like when you read, an, read a manga, you kind of like have your own perception of like what the voice should be so i'm wondering if it like matches with like what i've been like reading in my head and just like what music like the whole production of it you know it almost feels like i'm i read harry potter and now i get to see it in movies you know like that that same yeah feeling. yeah so let's I'm check it out i have zero idea i haven't even really asked her what it's about all she really has said is it's kind of like lord of the rings um 
And yeah. so for me, I love that. I love like like that world, that the world, lore. like it's not the, the story, the concept. Like I love elves, elves. and you know, and dwarves and yeah. mages and yeah. wizards and mm -hmm. orcs or whoever. I don't know what the concept is of the show, um, but that's what's kind of exciting as well. And then we'll get into it. I know this is a long intro, but it's a show that we're not. This isn't like, from my understanding, this isn't like a trending. Like mm -hmm. everyone is <clears throat> reacting to it and watching it like super high vault search volume. Uh, it's it's like it doesn't matter about the views. It's more I'm excited because this was something she was excited about, and we're just gonna. I think we were very close to watching this without reacting to it and yeah. just like, let's just watch this in bed. Yeah. But we decided like, you know what? Might as well share this with y'all. Yeah. But so this is just going to be kind like, of a chill, like, let's yeah. just. And I also feel like it's, it would be interesting to see it from the perspective of someone that's read the manga and seeing it come to life. And yeah. then also the perspective of someone who never read the manga yeah. and see it come, like, see the story first yeah. time. So let's go. Let's dive yeah. in. So hopefully you guys are, are liking this journey, this um like the journey of this anime so far and um yeah we'll see how how we like it as well let's go i'm gonna be honest too yeah if i hated it or if i like it Uber, you won't hate i'm it. just saying i usually like fights i know he's very shonen so we'll see Music's kind of cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like every character. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that kind of reminded me of Sukuna. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Is this story confusing? No, not really. Okay. It's just a lot of, I think, a lot of dialogue a little bit. So you kind of have Friend. to, like, breathe. Oh, wow, it's like, it's really pretty.
create immortality and resurrect, bring back Himmel, make the priest never die, be able to die. Like, and then they go on adventures forever. Like that's, that's what I now want to happen. And all while she's doing that, she's also taking on this apprentice, the purple hair girl, and teaching her how to be a dope mage. Like, th this is like, it's like a fun story. Yeah. This is so interesting, and now, like, I understand why people like watching reactions, because I just felt like I was watching you give your take on, like, what happened and what you, you're predicting, but I know what's gonna happen, and this is, like, actually entertaining. Hmm. <laughs> now I understand the appeal of this. <laughs> I am, I am curious to learn more about, like, what are, what are the roadblocks gonna be? Yeah. You know, like... There's gonna have to be some sort of bad guys. There's gonna have to be some sort of challenges faced. And she even hinted at it, like why she doesn't want to take her on as an apprentice because she'll end up like getting her killed. Yeah. So that tells me it's a dangerous but, world out there. Yeah. But she might be able to, I feel like, I, I mean, I, I don't want to say it's obvious, but it yeah. feels as if she's gonna be so impressed and like blown away and she's gonna grow fond of her. Their relationship's gonna, grow and maybe even the priest dies and she's gonna feel this amount of responsibility slash guilt to take her with her okay that's like what my prediction would yeah. be but yeah she seems like her potential might be even greater than Freren's. but Freren, i think already sees a little bit of herself in her just in her like how much she's interested in magic and like i think it just kind of comes no natural. she said uh she says end... somewhat yeah, somewhat. Like, she was just like... Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, like, like how much, and as in, like, the amount that the she The amount, actually, exactly. Oh, I thought you meant, like, because she really likes it. No, no. no. Yeah, okay. She okay. said somewhat, and then yeah. Freren was like, oh, you're just like me. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's those... It, it's like the nonchalant type. Yeah, it's that like, just it like comes natural, gifted. Yeah. and I don't, I don't have, like, a huge passion for it. It's... It kind of and like, yet she was able to achieve like whatever she just did like yeah yeah, yeah. Um, oh, okay damn I'm drawn I feel so stupid for drawing a blank but it reminds me of God the what what's the white hair guy's name in Blue Lock uh, Nagi Nagi yeah I yeah, was thinking yeah. of Noya but Nagi it's Nagi, like yeah not a lot of it effort is, like is put in but just really good yeah at what he whatever he does yeah um, but I'm actually excited for I'm this. Glad. I'm glad. Dude, I'm like actually really happy with the way this turned out. Like, Fern's voice was just so cute and like the way they animated her was like, oh, perfect. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm really happy that they, they did this well and I'm, I cannot wait to watch the next episode. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I am, I'm curious, they have to go into more detail, like, where are other elves what is Freren's backstory? Like, I feel like if I'm an elf, I'm, and I'm living way longer than a anyone else, I'm wanting to hang out with other elves because then you want to go through life with them uh -huh. and it's less lonely. She yeah. must feel so goddamn lonely. Mm, yeah. So I'm curious about that. Where's her family? Where's more elves? You know, like all that will be interesting. I'm sure they'll dive into that. All right, well, we're going to keep watching. I'm excited. I'm glad, boo. I'm so glad. Yeah. This makes me happy. <laughs> All right, well, watch the journey with us. It is unedited on our Patreon if you want to check that out. We have a bunch of other shows on there. Yeah. Um, exclusive shows, too. We're watching Avatar um, right now. Blue Lock, Death Note. Those two will be coming to YouTube, but they're on. We're finished with them. In the, er, uh, almost. Yeah. Um, they're on Patreon. But yeah, Hunter Hunter, Re Zero, My Hero, My Hero Academia, Vinland Saga. There's a bunch of stuff. Check it out if you want. Otherwise, the journey continues. Yeah. Peace. Bye. I love you, I love you.